Hi guys, welcome back to 100% Mark. So I hope you're all staying safe and well out there. Of course, in this video today, we are going to be talking about, of course, the recent news circulating around Newcastle United. Now, of course, some of this news is a little bit old now, as I am a little bit late to the party on this one, but I have been uh, unwell, of course, of late uh, with the flu. Still trying to get over it at the moment. Uh, but I am going to try and cover this news in this video today. Of course, tonight we do take on Manchester City in the third round of the Caribo Cup. The preview is up on the channel for that one. Do go check it out uh, and please do consider leaving a like on the video. But in this video, we are going to be talking about, of course, the news that Bruno has signed a new deal with Newcastle United. Of course, we're seeing his celebration after his goal against Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. Uh, we're seeing that, of course, he was saying, I'm fucking staying at Newcastle United. And he did kiss the badge as well. Uh, and of course, that is because he has signed a deal until 2028 to be with the club that deal does include unfortunately a minimum release clause in that deal according to reports from Fabrizio Romano and of course reports coming from the club that there is a minimum release clause added in there and that minimum release clause is in the region of upwards of a hundred million pounds so if anybody does want to take them away from Newcastle United they will have to try and trigger that uh, release clause for even to be able to speak with the player. And we all know that Bruno does not want to go, especially after that very, very uh, passionate um, celebration after his goal against Sheffield United at Bramall Lane, just gone there. Uh, also in other news as well, uh, we did see that, of course, uh, the Newcastle City Council have approved the um, fan zone as well to be made uh, at outside of St James's Park on the Strawberry Place area. Of course, that will be run by Salah and Stax, uh, of course, and that will be in the place right next to where the Metro Station is at Strawberry Place. Um, of course, the Newcastle City Council have agreed that. Uh, this was done quite a while back, of course. Like I say, some of this news is a little outdated, but that is purely down to the fact that I have been really busy and I have, of course, like I've said, uh, been trying to get over this flu as well, what's going around at the moment. And a more recent news story is, of course, that Newcastle have agreed a multi-year partnership deal with a brand new launched uh, iGaming UK, an online sports betting brand, BetMGM. Of course, these are very, very popular uh, brand. And of course, um, quite a few people will know who uh, BetMGM is. Of course, uh, MGM, of course, being the company uh, that runs the Bellagio out in Las Vegas, along with a few other different uh, high and casinos as well this is a company that is owned by PIF so of course there will be a fair market value a uh, stamp of approval have to be put on this deal and it will have to be a fair market uh, value as well for this deal but Newcastle of course agreeing a multi-year partnership deal with BetMGM of course and they are very very happy uh, to be part of the Newcastle United project as well moving forward. So let us know your thoughts uh, down in the comments below. As you may have seen as well, uh, this is being shot from a different angle today uh, because of how busy I am. Uh, I am shooting it on my phone instead of the usual uh, camera, what I would be shooting it on. Uh, so please do consider hitting a like on the video. Until next time, I'll see you all for the match reaction tonight after the game against Manchester City in the Cup. However, lads.